Some boy right over, man. I just jumped off the porch. Let it go to the I'm on that cocaine. So we got Rado off the porch with us today. How you feeling today, bro? I'm good, bro. I can't complain. Bless. Yeah, man. Definitely, bro. I uh, appreciate you coming by today, too. Man. I appreciate you for having me. Yeah, no problem, man. Um, so originally from Alabama, right? Yeah, Birmingham. Okay. Yeah. So did you grow up in Birmingham? or? Uh, I was there for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? My mom got a job opportunity in Atlanta, so we moved to Georgia. Okay. It was probably like six. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Still got plenty of family out there in Montgomery, too. Okay. Yeah. What part of Atlanta did you land at at first? Uh, we was in Cobb County. Yeah. Okay. Marietta. Okay. Sure. So how would you describe your childhood growing up there then? Shit, typical, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ups, downs. That shit wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. You know what I mean? I played sports too coming up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What sports uh, were you Baseball playing? and football. Baseball? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't get too many baseball players on the boards, man. I don't, shit, coming up, I was just a fast, big nigga, bro. <laughs> so, wherever they could use me, you know what I'm saying? That's what we was getting into. So. Okay. At what age would you say you jumped off the porch? Shit. Probably like 17. Okay. 17. Because like I said, I was playing sports. So, you know what I'm saying? When we first got to Georgia, shit was cool. So, you know what I mean? I ain't had no complaints. But my dudes lost that job. Mm -hmm. Got laid off. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Yeah. But when you say you jumped off the porch with you, because really, like I said, shit, I was smoking and all that in middle school, but you know what I'm saying? Taking risks, hustling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like 17. Okay, okay. Did you finish school? Yeah, high school. Okay. Yeah. I, I went to, uh, I made it to college too. Yeah, where'd you go? Yeah, yeah. I ain't make it a whole year though. I tweet. <laughs> uh, Mars Hill in North Carolina. Okay. Yeah, I had got, a, I told you I played football. Yeah. Back then, you probably couldn't tell me I wasn't going to the league. Hmm. I'm telling you, I was a fast big nigga, bro. For sure. <laughs> what position did you play? Fullback. Okay. Yeah. So did you get a scholarship to go up there? Yeah, but I blew it, bro. That shit, that college life different. Like, that shit, you know what I'm saying? Way, way. And then, like I said, Mars Hill in the middle of nothing. You really? know what I'm saying? So that shit was straight to school. I mean, we made the best of it, me and the bros I met out there and shit, but that shit just wasn't the same, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that shit ain't for everybody. Like, yeah. I ain't know what I wanted to major in for real. I was there to play football. Yeah. And then, like I said, trying to maintain and worry about what's going on at home. Then I was like four hours away, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like shit. My folks wasn't going to send me this or woo woo, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Every weekend, all that shit. Got out there, start tripping, <laughs> sent my ass home. You know what I'm saying? Lost my little scholarship, but it is what it is. What'd your mom say when you came back? That shit hurt her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit hurt her. But I'm doing this now, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go to the other league. There you uh, go. The same wow. shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sure she's proud of all the progress you've made yeah, here yeah, recently. She yeah, she loves it. She loves it. Yeah. So what would you say has been one of the biggest life lessons you had to learn? Um. Trust in yourself, for real, because I feel like a lot of people depend on, or if you feel like, you know what I'm saying, you lack some, you'll try to, I don't necessarily want to say like, fuck with somebody else for it, but like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you got to trust yourself, like, because at the end of the day, you came in this motherfucker alone, and you going to die alone, you know what I mean? It don't even matter if you had a twin, yeah. so you still got to, you know what I'm saying, make your own decisions. Whatever you want, go get it. You can't let nobody tell you shit. Like, you, you, bro. No matter what you want to do, no matter what it is, go do that shit. Like, grind at it, work hard. Don't shit come easy. If it's easy, I don't want it. <laughs> you feel me? That, that's really what I, trust yourself. That's the biggest shit I learned. Cause shit, you can go on the run. You can go on the run with somebody, no matter what y'all doing business, whatever, you know what I'm saying? She could go left or they could have, they, you know what I'm saying? They might want to do it like this. You might not want to, both ways work. Neither one of y'all wrong. Trust yourself, you know what I'm saying? So shit. Real shit right there, man. So um, how long back have you been making music now? <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, this shit been the grind, bro. I'll probably say like, when I dropped my first song, 2016? Yeah. Yeah, 2016. 
Maybe at the end of 2015. Okay. Yeah. So, but taking it serious, like three. Yeah. yeah. Probably like a strong three. Cause even then, like, shit, we hopped out quick. We was shows deep. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't know the the game, you know what I mean? I ain't understand how this shit really works. So we came in, we was pushing 50 deep. We was deeper than some of the crowds when I first, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. back then. So it just, yeah, I, I'll say three years series, but like five, but I always been fucked with music though. Okay. Yeah. So what that inspired you to start taking it serious then? What inspired me to do music or what inspired me to take it serious? To take it serious. <sighs> shit, seeing this shit could really work. Yeah. Yeah, seeing this shit could really work. And then, like I said, after football, like back then, you couldn't tell me I wasn't going to the league. You know what I'm saying? So shit, it's the same thing. I'm still trying to go to the league. Once I seen this shit real, you know what I'm saying? And I'm see, I got the feedback. Like, damn, you can really do this shit. It was over with. Yeah. It's over with. My mind, you know what I'm saying? It's over with. Mm -hmm. I gotta go to the league. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. But when I say the league too, I don't even care about the fame and shit. It's just a, it's money in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to build a foundation, a good platform, make sure my folks straight, mm -hmm. give the bros an opportunity to make sure they folks straight. That's it. I really don't give a damn about being famous. I can give a shit. Yeah, a lot of bullshit comes with the fame. Yeah, part, it just know? be like, that's the that's the rap game now, though, to me. It's just like, uh, like the, uh, get the attention. Once you get the attention, drop. You know what I mean? It's like a little scheme to the shit, but like, I don't know. I fuck with the music. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even care about all that famous shit. Like, that shit burnt out, really. Yeah, it's true, because you see a lot of, like, influencers or comedians. Yeah, or like, popular. once you get up there, then you can't even be normal again. You feel mm -hmm. when like you get to missing the shit that you did on the regular. Or it's just like, you might get to a certain level of fame, but your goddamn, your real life or some shit don't even match up. So then you got folks envying you or whatever and they don't even know bro i'm doing the same shit you doing you feel me i don't <laughs> for sure <laughs> who were some of your favorite rappers that you kind of uh enjoyed listening when you were coming up early early 50 cent lil wayne but like when i hopped off the porch of course gucci um the Chief Keith, yeah. Rich Kids, you know what I'm saying, shit. Without none of them, I probably wouldn't even be fucking with the music. For real. I don't want to be missing nobody. Now, J Money, I used to fuck with J oh, Money yeah. back in the day, too. We just had him on the show. Huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, yeah. I feel you. How'd you get the name, Reddo? Walker, too, my bad. I fucked up. Walker was fucking with that Walker back there. Okay. Reddo. Yeah. Um, on some class clown shit in high school. Me and my boy D might used to be freestyling and shit for the little hoes. Beating on the uh what it was, beating on the water fountain, tripping. And uh that nigga used to just be like, Loretto, Loretto. I don't even bruh, I don't so I really need to ask him, but shout out to my boy D Mike, man. I swear that nigga called me Loretto. We took the little off, ran with it, Reddo. For sure. Redo too, cause people be like radio re re <laughs> Redo. <laughs> I'm sure you hear a lot of different all types. Type of shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't give a damn. At the end of the day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause people don't be doing that shit on purpose. You know, you just looking at it. I don't know. How it, some people redo. I don't know, man. Redo. You <laughs> feel me? That's how we spelled it. That's what I ran with. You feel me for sure? Yeah, I got you, bro. So how'd you link up with your producer act? At shit, I had to say he more than a producer act, my brother. Okay. For sure. Um, that shit a crazy story too though, cause uh, I was recording with his roommate or some shit like that. And uh, he always used to tell me like, bro, my roommate got some beats for you. My roommate got some beats for you. Cause they had the uh, studio in their spot. And uh, yeah, every time, but I always miss him. And one time I seen him, but he was finna go to work. And he was like, yeah, bro, we got to get in. But I, a couple months go past. I had a studio session at, uh, 12 music group and he was the uh engineer okay I, I still don't know you know what i'm saying because it's been a minute since i seen him at the uh at the his roommate crib or whatever so boom i get in there i'm playing beats go through like 10 beats i'm like man this shit. he like shit, i got some beats 
I'm thinking he an engineer, you know what I'm saying? He probably got producer partners and shit. I'm like, play some shit, you know what I'm saying? Everything I'm pulling up is trash. Play some shit. First beat he played, put it in. <laughs> 10 minutes, punch in. I'm like, yeah, that shit. Next beat, go in. So then at the end of that shit, I'm like, bro, this shit crazy. Like, hell yeah, bro, I made these. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck? What do we gotta lock in? He like, shit, really? And then he broke it down to me like, bro, I'm at. And I'm like, oh shit, that shit was crazy. <laughs> but after that day, bro, we was at the spot. We didn't even need a studio no more. Okay. I probably was over there for every day, three months. I'm telling you. That's why I said that's my brother, bro. We changed the game for yeah. sure. He showed, it was just a different grind. I, Cause I fought with plenty of producers. Too many to name. It's just, with ACT, that shit was different. Cause like I said, we was Ben supposed to link and then that shit was just organic, you know what I'm saying? Cause we tried to force it or whatever, but the way it came up. And then like, bro, Leave It to Beaver was probably the, I don't know, that shit was within the first 10 songs we made. Oh, really? Every shit we made, the first song we made, we dropped. <laughs> so it wasn't even like, no, you know what I'm saying? It was just instant chemistry, huh? I'm telling you, bro, yeah. for sure. So did you, uh, when you dropped Leave It to the Beaver, did you expect that one to go up like that? Hell no. <laughs> I just knew it was different. Mm -hmm. When we was making it, Bray was there too. Yeah. He was so, there when you recorded it? The, who shot the video. Yeah. Was, yeah. So, I don't know. That shit was just, we made that shit like 15 minutes, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, just punching in. And I was just like, damn, this shit hard, but we got to drop this tomorrow. Yeah. He like, Shh. Bray like, shit, we can get a cover, do do. Let's do it. Shot the video the next day too. <laughs> They don't waste no time. Independent, do what you want. You know, so we try and get in. Was that like the first song of yours that went up? Uh, I was. That was the first song that I had one before. It was called Breaking News with Sensei. And okay, that was yeah. the first one that like showed me like, then okay, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go with this shit for real. Cause that shit, we started the whole wave. You know, people still rapping like that right now. <laughs> so. That was probably the first one that showed me like, okay, bro, you bullshit. Like, let's turn and then leave it to Beaver. That shit just fucked me up because, like I said, I ain't know. I kind of me and Sensei knew breaking news was gonna be some shit because that yeah. shit was different. But leave it to Beaver fucked me up, bro, because we didn't expect that shit to do what it did. So that showed me quit stashing all this music and drop that shit. Drop it, yeah. You might not, you know what I'm saying? You might think this the one, and it really be that one. Man, drop that shit. If you can, drop that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what about Don't Nothing Move? This one went up on SoundCloud, bro. Same shit, bro. We made that <laughs> shit. Probably like 30 minutes. But that was different, though, because when we was made, after I made that hook, he was like, bro, you got to go up on the verse. This shit about to be that. So I'm like, all right. Dropped that bit. And uh, DJ Quincy dropped that shit. And he got them, he added a whole nother, you know what I'm saying? He got a crazy fan base. Mm -hmm. So that shit brought, they was on my page. I, he, I was trying to drop the shit that, like the day I, probably two days after I made it. Quincy like, bro, no. Like we gonna make them beg for this song. <laughs> you feel me? But I ain't understand that shit. I'm like, Bro, we got to drop. I just seen what, you know what I'm saying, Leave the Beaver did. We ain't, you know what I'm saying, we ain't hope. He like, bro, man, them folks was on my Instagram going crazy, like, from <laughs> all, everywhere. Like, bro, please tell Quincy, drop, drop that shit. It did what it did. Still got the video coming to that, too. I was about to ask, hey, yeah, why didn't you drop a video? Since that one was going crazy, man. Like I said, bro, that's independent, so it's just like shit. I got so many songs, and I got a lot of videos, so it's like shit. That was just one of the ones when it started going up. I'm like, all right, I gotta do that the right way. That can't just be no. Let's get over here. I, I, you know how niggas dropping videos back and back. I'm like, nah, yeah. bro. We it, real budget. Let's do it. Let's run with it. But then in the time span of that, still working, still dropping new shit. So that shit's still coming though. Okay. Believe it. <laughs> Believe it. How did you feel when people were trying to compare you to uh, other rappers back then? 
the same way I feel now, cause it's like shit. I ain't trying to be nobody but me. Like I told, I'm trying to get in, make sure my flow's good. And if you go do your homework, I got some shit called copycats. So you know what I'm saying? That's just, that, I'm finna drop copycats three in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so that's just more, you know what I'm saying? Like, hell, if I came out with copycats, how the hell you gonna say I'm trying to be somebody? You feel me? But it's like, I understand though, cause everybody gonna see what they like and take. The thing is, you gotta salute these folks. You know what I mean? If you using this or you doing this or you heard that and now you want to use his beat or you just salute him it ain't that hard niggas want to act like they created everything like bro you know what i'm saying that's all so shit it really don't offend me because i'm not if, if i was trying to be like somebody and then they like damn bro you sound like shawty or whatever then i feel offended but that shit don't offend me because like i said they might sound like me you know what i'm you Cause I got, bro, I'm telling you, I'm just versatile, so I'm having flows. So that's another thing. I might make a song like this, three songs in a day that don't sound nothing like each other. So shit, you might hear this one and then I don't never use that flow again. Now somebody might like it, bite a little bit. They shit go up. Ah oh, man, well, I might do another one like that. And I, oh, you sound like him, but you gotta do your homework, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is though. Yeah, I feel you. How did the song plan come about? To be real, um, AR was like, bro, I got some shit. Or no, nah, we was at the studio, I think we was there together. And uh, I ain't know what the hell he said, but the, you know what I'm saying? The, that shit, the little squeaky shit, that shit went nuts, that shit worked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't no hating ass nigga, like, bro, go up with that shit. But I swear, I really didn't know what he said. <laughs> so I was just like, damn, bro, you feel me? That shit rolled for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, bro, I don't know what the hell you said. <laughs> he broke it down a little bit. Went with it, drop, and uh, dot com shot that. Yeah. He's like, bro, we gotta shoot this shit, so. Yeah, that video was crazy too. Bro. Yeah, you feel me? That dot com on some whole, he got his whole own lane with that shit. Yeah, that shit crazy. The whole little. I can't even just say animation. Like he, his shit crazy. Yeah, you kind don't of know mixes animation like, in with the real. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know what the fuck. He a beast though. You feel me? Yeah. Appreciate him. So how'd you link up with Brodinski? Uh, Brodinski had DM me like, I want to say 2019, and uh, he was like, "Bro, you hard? Woo -woo -woo. I want to see some beats." When I seen it, I oh shit. Bro, this, bro, this, cause I've been to who he was. Okay. And he worked with Kanye and shit. So I'm like, bro, I gotta get, he sent the beats. And I'm listening to him at first. He sent hella too. So I'm listening to him. I'm like, damn, okay. I probably took him like two, three days, sent something back. But I didn't know if he was gonna fuck with him, you feel me? Cause I'm like, these, that's some different shit. Yeah. That was back then, you feel me? I'm like, I don't know. He hit me back instant. Like, bro, this shit hard. We, we, we got to drop. That was the uh, the times 10. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, I recorded that in my partner's spot. At, um, at my boy Tyler's spot. Shout out to Tyler, man. I recorded that at his spot. And we sent it to Brodinski. And he was like, uh, yeah, I'm fucking with Because I was telling him I might have to re-record it. You know what I mean? Woo -woo -woo. But I didn't want to play. Like, I got the beats. I'm like, man, this Brodinski, I'm finna... I might have been at bro house. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, we got to get on these shit right now. Mm -hmm. He like, man, bro, all right, let's do it. Sent it, and bro, like, man, fuck no, we, I'm, I'm fucking with it. But I sent them, I think I sent them, try again, and times 10, and like one more, all in like the same time. Yeah. And he was like, bro, we, I'm fucking with all of this shit. Like, we gonna do this, this. Look where we at today. <laughs> yeah. So did you guys plan to do a whole project right then and there, or did it take some yeah. time to uh, do that too? We dropped this, we dropped, Times 10, and then he put Try Again on one of his tapes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he was like, yeah, bro, we gotta do a whole tape. And we started that shit, really. And then uh, he was like, let me see. I think we started the tape in LA, matter of fact. And- uh, Were you working in the studio with him then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, that was my first, no, my, I, I wanted, my first time meeting was in Atlanta. We okay. was at uh, Ralph's studio. Yeah, so we actually started it there. I'm tripping. We started it here. And then he was like, boom. I, he, we had a show in LA. So then we tried to finish it up there. 
he was like, I think I want to add some more songs to it. Shit. Came up with that shit though. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. I appreciate Brodinski. Brodinski is like, it's it's kind of the same thing though, cause with Brodinski, it was genuine. You know what I'm saying? He hit me up. I'm I wasn't talking about, you know what I'm saying? Shit. He helped me. You feel me? So I'm like, that's why I gotta send the songs back, but he fucking with me, met him. Bro, he is a genuine person. That's what I'm, you know, you don't meet a lot of genuine pe people in this shit. Everybody got like a motive behind it. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter who they is. So they got a motive, like, bro is genuine. Like, he like, bro, I'm fucking with you. Like, you need anything, call me with, with this music shit, shit, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, bro, I'm, for sure. Yeah. I fuck with bro, Densky. that's my brother too. Yeah. We locked in, I'm telling you. Yeah, he's always been solid since I've yeah. known him too, man. He just chill, you know what I'm saying? He just, he just be chilling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so slow motion, man. Why that title? Why was that the title of the EP? We got a song on there called Slow Motion. That's gonna be the single. Okay. Uh, but I mean, shit, slow motion better than no motion. We try and go full speed, being ran to a brick wall somewhere. <laughs> For real. It don't matter. I, I, I just feel like that shit could go with everything. Like, you going through something, slow your ass down. Slow down. Slow roll that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then if you go listen to the tape, or well, you listen to it, mm -hmm. what's your favorite song? I have to probably slow motion. You see what I'm saying? The, so the even vibe on each did song it, is so different, but that one me? is just like, damn. That's what I'm saying. That's what you're going to get with Brodinski, though. That's why. I, I already knew this shit was gonna do what it's gonna do, cause bro, Beast is out of here. Yeah. Like that's not no, you can't get on that shit and just, I, right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gonna have to do what you do. You gonna have to walk that shit. Or it ain't even gonna, I don't even, the beat be spontaneous. Every single one, them, don't none of them shit sound the same. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? But still, I feel like seven for seven for sure. But that slow motion, it don't sound like nothing. Go listen to it. You gonna? I, I might have. Uh, the recipe was in there. Yeah. The first couple bars, <laughs> for sure. So you want to get you a slow motion? Slow motion, for sure. So plans to shoot a video for that one? It's already shot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's already shot. So what's the creative direction the video is going in the? Um, I'm a chemist. Okay. I'm a chemist. Shout out to Diggers too, for sure. I don't want to give them too much. It's finna drop. Yeah. We can tell us about the song It's a Go. That was the first video you guys dropped off yeah. the project. That was one of the first ones we made too. Uh -huh. um, that video out too right now. Go check that shit out. It's a Go. Um, same thing, fast paced beat. So I already knew like that, okay, I can't play. And, um, it's a go kind of different though, cause like I said with his shit, it, it was like damn, I can't even like a hook, you know what I'm saying? The beat so crazy, I'm like, bro, I'ma just go, I'ma just go, I'ma just go. So I was just in there. I think I did that one with Ralph. So I was just in there, bar punching, 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 punching. I probably just did. Hell, I don't even know how to count no bars. Shit, fifty some <laughs> bars, and I'm just like, shit, bro, play it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I appreciate Ralph too, cause he. Chop you know what I'm saying? Put that shit together. Yeah. Played it. I'm like, it's a go. Fans fucking with it too, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Plans to shoot videos for all the songs? Every single one. Okay. Seven for seven. Yeah. Got to. Got to. Yeah. Um, so going forward, you got another project in the works? I'm sure, you know, you stay Like working. I told you, I got the, um, the Copycast 3 coming. Me and Ag got some shit coming back okay. from the dead. We just been, well, he been drop. We both been dropping, but together they be they be wanting that shit. So we got me and Ag got some shit coming. I got plenty of shit coming though. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause I've been out the way. I've been trying to get the business side of this shit. Yeah. So I just you know what I'm saying. When I drop, I'm trying to. That's why I slowed up. All the fans just like, damn, bro, right up. You know what I'm saying? Especially my folks on SoundCloud, because like I said, that's where it started at. Yeah. I ain't forgot about y'all, I promise. It's finna come. 
<laughs> I had to get it together though, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like I said, this shit a business. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go to the league for real. That's where I had to tell myself like, bro, you catching one of these, catching these leave it to beavers and that, that, and that ain't nothing. You get what I'm saying? But to me, that shit something. So it just showed me like, damn, bro, you really could do this shit. If you really want to do something, you gotta do it right. You know, I wasn't doing it right. I'm just dropping. Yeah. And like I said, I don't, I ain't signing nobody. I don't got no manager. I don't got no. It's me and my team, and well, my game. Mm -hmm. RKU, straight up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So with that, it's just like, bro. Make your own rules, but at the end of the day, I had to get the business together. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's just like shit. Hopping out there and not really not really knowing shit about the game, just fucking with music, you'll get your ass fried. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, it's been a little journey, bro. And I I'm like, okay, this nigga finna go up for real. So I'm like, man, let me get my business together. I don't care what. Let me get it together. I feel that. Smart move too, bro. Yeah, had to, bro. Yeah. All right. Any shout outs before we wrap it up? Of course. Um, shout out to Brodinski. Shout out to my folks, you know what I'm saying, for, for making me. I'm <laughs> telling you, they still grinding to today. So shit, I ain't gonna stop, you know what I'm saying, till they get put up. You know what I mean? So shout out to them. Shout out to my gang, man, along with the GOAT, man. Frenchy gang shit, RK3K, man. To the death of me, for real. Shout out to the fans. Shout out to y'all for having me. Appreciate it. No problem. I'm on the cocaine. I'm a white water.